best thing that you can do is you can take your stuff and you can put it back in the employee break room. There's lockers there if you want to lock it up or you could just leave it out. Some people do, some people like to lock it. Totally up to you. There is no official dress code, you know, written in our policy. However, I do require everyone to wear button down shirts in like more neutral colors like black, white, tan, brown, just because um, I find it's more professional than, you know, just a regular long sleeve shirt, a t-shirt, things like that. And I don't really want to, you know, keep customers away just because they might think we're like unprofessional or like not uniform and stuff if we just wear whatever we want. So like that outfit, no. Right? So it's not specifically detailed in our policy. However, I'm the manager. So I do enforce that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so today I'm just going to walk around with you and kind of show you, teach you some things, of course. As the manager, I can do that. And, you know, you can try a few things out, but if you don't really know how to do them, then we'd rather you just watch at first, just because, you know, we do take our customer interactions very seriously here, and it's a really big thing here for us, and our customers know what to expect when they come in. So we just want to make sure that, you know, we're giving that experience to the customers every time. So, yeah, that's just kind of why if you don't want to do something, definitely don't do it, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What can we start with? Let's just start with basic customer interactions. Okay, so you can watch me. I'm just going to go up to a customer and kind of interact with them how I normally would. I will tell you, we carry around these little work phones and on here this is how customers sign up for our membership so there's a vip membership and you are required to ask every single customer to sign up so definitely really try because it is a requirement here we want them signing up for our membership obviously so make sure you always mention that and you'll see how to do that when i show you in a couple minutes okay Okay, follow me, follow me. Okay, we're gonna go to that customer. Hi there, how are you doing today? Well, good, yeah. Are you liking everything you see so far? Is there anything I can help you with specifically? Okay, I do want to mention we do have a membership on our app and if you sign up, you get 20% off your first purchase with the membership. So if you wouldn't mind just giving me your first and last name and your email and I can get you all signed up. No, I insist because it's free. It's just a membership for the app. Like I said, the only thing it really does is just get you discounts and all we need is your email and your first and last name. So it's really simple. We don't need your address, your phone number, anything. All we need is your first and last name and your email. Well, I really think you should because right now you have a whole bunch of things and I feel like 20% off would save you a lot of money for that. Yeah, so let's sign you up, okay? How do you spell your first name? Last name? What's your email? All right, you're all signed up. Have a fantastic day. Okay. So do you see what I did there? Yeah, so we really want to push for the sign-ups. It's a really big thing, and we want to make sure that, you know, we're really trying to get the customers to sign up if we can. Yeah, so I see some staff, and they're kind of trying, but they're not trying hard enough. You need to try hard enough to drive them to sign up, okay? Okay. Let's have you try, okay? Yeah. So why don't you try with that customer over there and I'll just listen in, okay? Okay, good, yeah. The app. The app.
Yeah, okay, so I see why they didn't sign up. Um, first things first, you really have to push it and really say, like, why it's a good deal. Like, so you need to say, it gets you 20% off, look at all this stuff in your cart, like, imagine how much money you could save from this. It's only your first and last name and email, it's not, like, all your information. Um, what else? Oh, when you introduced it, you said, sign up for the credit card, but you should really say sign up for our credit card because it makes you seem more of like part of the team and the group and like it's something that you really are involved with, okay? Because the customer will feel more comfortable signing up if that's the case. What? Oh, they didn't- they were already signed up. Okay, but I'm just saying like even if they were already signed up, I feel like they wouldn't have signed up because you didn't give good enough of a reason for them to sign up. You see what I'm saying? Okay, good. Okay, so next we're gonna go to the returns counter because people have so much trouble with customer interactions at the returns counter because, you know, the customers can be a little bit more demanding there and they can be a little bit more upset, you know, because of the return and everything. Your break. Okay, so yeah, you do get two 10 minute breaks and one 30 minute break, but I like to do a break schedule where I kind of choose when you take all of your breaks because if not, it's kind of hard to know like who's working, who's in the store, who's on break, things like that. It can get a little confusing. So I think it's probably best if you just stick by my schedule. And honestly, I think I had you, let's see on the schedule for, yeah, 2.30 breaks leave like an hour until your break. Yeah, so then I also, I schedule the smaller and the bigger breaks just because it's easier that way so we know where everyone is at all times, okay? Yeah, because I'm the manager and I have to, you know, manage and make sure you guys are doing everything right. But if I don't know where you are, how am I supposed to do that, right? Right, okay, let's go to the returns counter. Okay, so at the returns counter, your biggest priority is to make the customer happy with the result. So, you know, we do have policies, you know, we have expiration dates of coupons, things like that. However, if you think that the customer is more likely to come back if you kind of, you know, grant them a little bit of leniency with the policy and stuff, sometimes we do just like to do that option because, you know, we want the customers to keep coming back, of course. So, yeah, sometimes that will happen. However, you can't actually make any of those decisions. You have to, of course, call a manager for that. So, I'll just kind of walk you through that, okay? Here comes a customer now, so let's, let's see what happens here. Right there, yeah. Okay, I'll say it. Um, hi, how can I help you? This, yeah, okay. You want to return this, and why is that? It wasn't big enough for your space. Okay, um, I will say, you know, you could always put it somewhere else. What I like to use these for is like little mini coasters. Not necessarily for drinks, but more for like jewelry around the house and like lip gloss and stuff. Just a small little thing I can use to put things on around the house. Did you ever think of that? Okay, okay, you still want to return? Okay, that's fine. Um, this is my new employee, so they're gonna kind of guide you through the return, and I'm just gonna be here to help them, because I'm the manager, you know, so I'm just gonna make sure that they're doing everything right, okay? Okay. So here you go. Okay, so let's see what you can do. Okay, I'm just gonna pop in for like one second. Um... Before you ask the customer if they have their receipt, you do want to type in the computer the issue with the product and the product serial number. So just flip the product over. Yeah, and you see that barcode there? Right, so you're going to have to write down that um, serial number in the computer. Just one second, okay? In the computer. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay so, so next, you wrote it in, so that you can say. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop in again one more time so the customer doesn't have the receipt, which it is in our policy that they have to have the receipt to return, but you know, we don't want to make the customer upset. 
So we can make an exception in this case. Um, I'm saying that because I'm the manager. So you can make an exception in this case and you can still return the item, okay? So there's a button in the computer right there. See that? Yeah, so to put that in the system, you just press this. It's an M button for manager. I'll sign off on it and it can override the um, receipt, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna hop in one more time. Um, so when you're like closing out the return, you know, they got the return, they got it re reimbursed on their choice. Um, definitely make sure you say like, did you look around for anything else? Is there anything else I can point you in the direction of today? Just because sometimes the customer is looking for something else um, instead of what they got. And if you don't ask them, that's kind of not very helpful. So yeah, so just keep that in mind, okay? So is there anything else you'd like us to help you find or? Okay, okay. Well, have a great day then. Okay, goodbye. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna have you on cashier tomorrow. Not today because we have so many cashiers on today. It's starting to get busy again since we're getting close to, you know, the holidays and everything. So let's see what else we can do here. What was that? schedules no so how the schedules work here is i pick your obviously i schedule you because i'm the manager if you need a day off you need to let me know at least one month in advance because otherwise it's so hard to find someone to cover your shift i mean it really puts everyone in an inconvenience if you just you know call out randomly so that's not possible if you're sick, we do have a staff bathroom in the break room, so you know, you could always utilize that. Well, I really do prefer that you still come in because we don't want to put the rest of the, you know, staff and whole entire boutique at an inconvenience and the customers. So if you're on the schedule, you're coming in, there's really no excuse because we need you here. If I don't need you here, I just won't put you on the schedule. Yeah, so hold that thought actually. Oh gosh, not again. Okay, you know, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Okay, I have to leave early, so do you see the girl with the bob haircut? Yeah, she's going to train you for the rest of the day, okay? Because there's an emergency and I absolutely have to go. Well, it's a little bit different for me because I'm the manager and I have, you know, certain things in place and you know what? I just really have to go, so you're gonna go finish your training with her over there and tomorrow we can finish this whole thing, okay? Okay, yeah, nice to meet you.